Good morning, my lovelies. So it's Friday, the 3rd of June, which means the show is in two days. Um, today I start doing all my body preparations. Um, so I've been doing like skin prep for the tan all week. And then um, I've got to do like obviously hair removal and um, all that sort of stuff today uh, because you can only shower like tomorrow morning before the tan and then you have to keep the tan on and not shower for until after the show. It's pretty gross. Haven't really decided what I'm going to do with my hair yet. Last time I decided and got extensions and stuff but this time, to be honest, I've been more bothered about other things in life. Um, but I'll just yolo it on the day. I'm alright with hair so I'll just do whatever. Um, got eyelashes etc. So yeah, um, I've been to the gym this morning. I went to spin and then to fitness yoga with my housemate which was very lovely. Um, I'm sleeping much better. Um, I think mainly because I've just removed the stress from myself of the second competition. Like, I think I probably am going to do it but I'm removing the stress of actually like this is the one that I want to do well in. The second one, I'm not, I'm, I'm likely to do well just because of the, the fact that it's all pros and it's all the best people. So you know, as long as I look good, then I don't really care that much for that one. Um, so I'm not going to go hell for leather for two weeks and stress myself out over something that actually I'm not really going to achieve anything by. Um, but I am enjoying going to the gym again since yesterday, which is good. And this morning. I did my weight just out of like interest as a fleeting, oh I'll just do it just to see what it's like. And it was 54, which to be fair makes more sense because I was looking at myself last week thinking how is it, there's no way that I'm still 59 kilos um, because I'm smaller than last time and leaner than last time, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and so I imagine it's basically I've just shedded like 4 kilos of water weight in a week slash in a couple of days because I weighed myself the other day and it was 58 so um it's quite a big drop um I think it is mainly well I think maybe a tiny bit of stress um was making me retain a lot of water and I was obviously drinking like six liters a day and now I'm dropping so yeah so I'm about the same weight that I was last time stage weight wise but I'm definitely more muscular um which obviously in turn means that I'm leaner hopefully Okay, boys and girls, so it's the day before uh, we go up for the competition. I just thought I would show you what you need to get together um, for a show. So, first and foremost, box of post show goodies. <laughs> We've got some little sweeties in here, a single Reese's peanut butter cup. Um, a pack of raspberry pop tarts under there, some salted caramel milk chocolate buns and Bailey's balls, some more pick and mixy sweet type things in there. I probably won't get through many of those, but I'm gonna give it a go. A pack of Oreos, a pack of salt and vinegar crisps because I absolutely love these. Um, peanut bar, delicious, but. Right, basically I'm just bringing more than is necessary. Like I'm obviously not gonna be able to get through all of this, but I'd rather have it just in case. Dairy milk bar, mini cheds, a single tiny white chocolate egg, <laughs> and a white chocolate bueno. So that is my stash for the post-show treats. Um, I will rearrange that neatly. So basically that's gonna go at the bottom of my bag, ready for uh, after, I've been on stage, not immediately after, because, well, depends on how I do. Basically, if I don't win, um, then immediately after I go on stage, because <laughs> I don't need to go on again. Um, if I do win, which I doubt, then I may well have to go on again. So, we'll basically just see. Uh, but yes. So that is the first thing to go in the bag. Next key thing on the list, bed sheets. Full set of bed sheets. This has got in it two pillowcases, 
under sheet and also a cover to go over the cover. Um, I mean, you could just bring a um, duvet and go inside the duvet um, and maybe one pillowcase, which I've done before, and that's absolutely fine, but it has come pretty close to staining the uh, hotel sheets, so I'd just rather be on the safe side and bring full set. And they're brown as well, so hopefully they won't stain. Um, next thing on the list, important thing, is clothes to wear tomorrow once I've had my tan. So, loose fitting dark clothes, I've just got a plain black vest top there, dark grey, very loose fitting jumper, some very dark grey loose fitting joggers, and some very comfy sort of slipper shoesy things just to wear. Basically, once I've got the tan, that renders you useless. So, I won't really be doing anything. <laughs> but that's what I'll be wearing. Um, next up, we have beauty products. Straighteners for hair. Um, I'll tell you about the body prep in a moment. Dry shampoo, because you can't shower. Um, nails to go on. Tomorrow I would put them on now, but I don't want to risk them falling off. An emergency nail set back up, just in case any of them do fall up. Um, morning multivits and fish oil in there. And also I've got some of my night oil just in case. And makeup bag. This is absolutely ridiculous. But in here, um, foundation for ridiculously dark skin uh, basically just like regular all the regular makeup some lots of sparkly go on your cheeksy type stuff uh, like this just makes your cheeks shine um, this sort of thing makes your eyes and cheeks shine falsies to go on um, and then just like a general palette I'm gonna do like a smoky eye I think uh, so just like a brown smoky eye basically is the plan. Um, I will show you the before and after videos. So that's my massive makeup bag. And uh, just, yeah, like just a mirror and stuff in there. Um, so those are like your basic essentials. Oh, actually, no, they're not. Don't be ridiculous. Obviously one other thing. Your actual on stage stuff. So... This is my dressing gown to be worn when not on stage, but once you've got in your bikini on the day, you stay in it because otherwise it messes up your tan and whatnot. Uh, stage jewellery in here. It's all wrapped up so you probably can't see it. But yeah, essentially it's just lots of like this sort of thing. Earrings and two bracelets. You don't wear necklaces because they're just distracting. I've um, got a new set of posing shoes. You just throw a simple, a little bit of sparkle, got a nice big chunky heel so that hopefully I won't fall over. And obviously my bikini, key feature. So those are all your essentials. I'm also bringing a band just because it helps you get a little bit of a pump on just before you go on stage. I'm not really a big fan of the whole immediately before stage prep that people do. People can end up really, really causing themselves damage. People do things like drink bits of alcohol or take diuretics. Basically do really stupid things that can potentially cause lots of damage to your kidneys. So don't do them. But it is okay to get a pump on. There is no harm with getting a pump on. I don't think it's necessary, but sometimes it's quite good for the brain to get a pump on. So that is what the band is for. That is everything for show day. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do with my hair yet. I'm gonna bring this just in case. Don't really know, just gonna yodel it. Um, and then added things, because we're going to the hotel and um, after the tan you can't really do much. I bring in my iPad which will help 
with uh, we've got Netflix and Wi-Fi. Me and Emily are bringing this to play just in case we get bored and bringing a book as well because obviously once we've got the tan we won't be able to go and do very much. And last but not least we also have close to where afterwards because I'm going out for dinner so it's all very dark loose fitting like nice clothes but nothing that's going to get ruined by having a tan it's just a pair of black loose leggings black loose t-shirt black loose jumper and some comfy shoes okay kids so everything's packed and ready to go pretty much um I will show you my food that I'm taking with me in the morning and my toenails are done them and now I have got to go and have my first shower which involves um, hair removal skin prep so that's basically exfoliating moisturizing skin removal etc and then tomorrow um, which is when I get my tan I need to have another shower uh, to wash my hair and to do like a pH um and bicarb body scrub which is basically like to remove all the oils and blah 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 to get your skin really ready for the tan um i'm gonna try and leave that as late as possible so because otherwise i'll be really smelly so um i'm gonna ideally do that at the hotel um but it just depends on what time checking is but i'm waiting to hear from them about that but yes and then that's it then let's just go with the flow Okay kids, so this is my food for pre-show day and show day. This is what I'm eating for breakfast the day before show day. It's just some white fish uh, with some mushrooms and tomatoes on it. A mushroom that's got a cheeky bit of cheese in it. Um, and the rest of it is leeks. And then just some cauliflower and broccoli. So that's my breakfast. Um, then for the rest of the day in here I've got 100 grams of this Alpro soya with coconuts, low carb. You can see the macros there. And I will mix that with this. Um, then I have got my later on evening meal. That's just 100 grams of chicken breast with broccoli and cauliflower. And three rice cakes to have. And then in here I've got um, another one of these. It's just porridge with some protein and a couple of rasps and blues to go on it. So that's everything for today including this, which is the day before the show. Um, and if I get really peckish, I'll just pick up some chicken from Tesco or something. And then the morning of show day, I will have my porridge and protein. Then I've got two sets of 100 grams of chicken and vegetables with some rice cakes. And hopefully, I'm due to stop eating three hours before I go on stage. It's always a bit hit and miss, timings wise, but hopefully that should cover it. So that's it. Oh, and also I'm obviously water depleting, so this is the amount of water I'm allowed, basically, for the day. <laughs> so, good luck with that. Teenager, bang, baby, like you. <laughs> I'm embarrassed because I look like this. <laughs> I've been going to a park. <laughs> like a date rape to the parks. <laughs> I genuinely feel like I'm being led to my death. <laughs> Go with me and play on the swings. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> My hair looks so ridiculously white. <laughs> 